Hi there. My name's Ian Clark and I live in the lovely village of Bleeding in North Somerset. During this year's lockdown, I decided for my physical and mental well-being to build a wildlife pond in my garden. This is how I did it. There we go. Starting by removing turf to get the shape of the pond. And then begins the process of digging out lots and lots of stone and rock in that ground. But eventually, after about four weeks, I'd managed to get the depth to about two, two and a half feet. And got the shape almost how I want it. Then I put some old carpet and underlay down and followed that with some quality pond liner. It's nearly ready, thank goodness. What do you reckon? It's been an absolute pig to dig. Just got to finish off around the edges. The bottom bit there's that bit. There's going to be a bog garden. And then that bit there is a like a pebble beach and have the wildlife in. And the bottom there is, is mud. There are plants and plants in there and obviously plant plants all around the outside and some stuff. Okay, so the grand switching on of the water Could you just do it very gently, to fill up the pond. Hang on, okay. That's yeah, that's fine. Is that alright? Yeah, that's fine. And what, then you'll just take that bit of black liner what, out? Once it, once it gets to a certain depth, I'll just take the black liner out, yeah. And just make sure it doesn't get too deep before you go try to grab the edge of it. <laughs> Yes? Yeah, yeah. Looking nice though. Okay, so we'll come back in half an hour and see how it's doing, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Can I just, um, can I just draw your attention to this little heap of loveliness down here though? That's going to be dealt with, I'm assuming, is it? Today. Yeah, that's all right then. And here's the pond now. It's been full of water for about two weeks. It still needs a bit of landscaping around the outside and some more plants. I've obtained from two good friends some plants from their ponds, which are excess to their requirements. Still need to get a lily in the bottom. You can see I've got a shallow beachy area here to enable wildlife to come in and out of the pond safely. We've already had wood pigeons and blackbirds washing and drinking out of that area. And then this bit here at the top is an overflow still lined and used as a bog garden because the ground slopes from the top of the garden down any excess rainwater should hopefully if I got the levels right mean that the bog garden fills up with excess water from the pond and it's been positioned so that we can actually look out of our kitchen window there and see everything going on in the pond which should be lovely I would imagine that in two or three months time, that will be teeming with wildlife. Isn't that right, Bella? <laughs>